the fetch execute cycle fetch decode execute and store now the fetch execute cycle is a procedure that dictates how computer systems retrieve instructions from memory of the central processing unit to interpret and execute accordingly for different programs the cycle is split into two parts of instruction time known as i time and execution time e time with the cycle also including the four steps of fetch, decode, execute, and store. So firstly, we'll take a look at what iTime and eTime are. So here's a summary of those two components. So iTime is instruction time, in which instructions are retrieved from memory, which is RAM, and then decoded by the CPU prior to processing and being executed. E-time then is execution time, where the program instructions are then executed by the CPU with the process data, now information, being stored back into memory, back into RAM okay, for use by the user of the system. So now next we'll go look into how these two uh, phases are there broken into those four steps. So here are the four steps of the fetch execute cycle. We have fetch where the CPU retrieves the instructions from random access memory and then stores them in a register location, which is a temporary storage location in the CPU okay, for processing. We then need to decode those instructions. So the CPU determines which components are required for the execution of these instructions, outlining the parameters for a successful execution. How will it know that it's processed them correctly? What other elements of the systems or resources does it need to access in order to process that data pro uh, appropriately. So this is all in the I time phase of the fetch execute cycle. Now we're going to go into the E time phase. So actually start executing and that starts with the execute stage. The CPU assigns a specific actions to the relevant systems components in order to carry out the initial program instructions processing the actual data. Right. So all those resources that are put together during the decoded stage, they're all going to act now and actually process the data and be involved in the actual processing of the data correctly. OK, in order to transform that data into information. And then finally, we need to store that data. The newly processed information is written back into memory. It goes back into RAM, okay, and RAM presents that live data on screen. It's now processed for the user. Okay, and that concludes the a cycle. Okay, and then the next data comes in from RAM to be processed next. And that's why it is a cycle, the fetch execute cycle. Data is constantly coming into RAM, sent to the CPU for processing, comes big back to RAM to be uh, accessed by the user, and then the user sends through their next information or re-edits or sends through more data. And it's a continuing cycle of processing going from RAM and the CPU in the fetch execute cycle. So let's look at this diagrammically now. So as said, we've got our two sides. We've got the I time side, which is the instruction side, okay? Instructions are retrieved from memory and decoded by the CPU. What we do first is fetch those instructions. The CPU retrieves the instructions, okay, the data from random access memory and stores it in a register location, okay, in preparation for processing. Next, it's got to decode those instructions, determining which components are required for the execution of that instruction and outlining the parameters for a successful process. Then we move into the E time phase, where the instructions are retrieved from the memory and now processed by the CPU. Okay. So we've got to execute this, the CPU actually doing the actions required upon the data now, okay, and accessing the system resources it needs to process it correctly. And then after the information has been created through being processed, it is then stored back into RAM. The newly processed information is written back into memory. All right, once that data has been done, it's now back in RAM. Next data comes in, same process occurs through this cycle. So I hope this video has given you an understanding of the fetch execute cycle. Essentially that it has two phases, the information phase, which is setting up the data for processing, and then the execution phase, okay, E time, where it is actually processed and stored back into RAM for use by the user. All right, and then the four stages are fetch, decode, execute, and store, which are constantly happening in your computer as new data is coming in and new information is being created by the information of the computerized system.